The Athens PC showed a vision which was four years out. Like this is the follow through on Athens and shows a prototype in terms of hardware which is a bit more feasible. So right here you see the prototype. It consists of a 23 inch monitor and a communication console which is connected to the PC. This design is done by uh, Hewlett Packard and right now you can't really see the, 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 the hardware on stage. We don't have a camera on it. But you can take a closer look at it at the hardware showcase where we're showing this demo as well. The software aspect of this demo is our vision for the communication PC and how we want the communication experience, and especially around phone calls, to be for Longhorn. In this demo, I'm going to show you three aspects of this communication experience. The first one is the hardware and software integration. The integration of hardware devices, such as a cell phone, this communication console, or a pocket PC, into the Longhorn operating system. The second aspect is communication history, a view of all your communication and relevant entry points into that communication, for example, from phone calls or contacts. The third part is call management, starting a call or activities during a call or wrapping up of a call. What I'm going to do, I'm going to walk you through a, a scenario of a small business owner. Right here, I have a Bluetooth-enabled cell phone. So during the day, I make phone calls, I might store contacts, and maybe even make pictures with this cell phone. When I'm at my PC, I want to uh, have all that information available, because when I'm in the office, I would use my PC to communicate. Maybe I use an email application. I set it up so that through Bluetooth, when I approach the PC, my cell phone synchronizes and I have all my information available right here. So this is one example of hardware software integration. Another example is if I make a call on my cell phone and the PC can be aware of this call. Like imagine during the day, I wanna, like for my small business, I wanna hire a, a person into my business and I wanna discuss a contract with her, but before I do that, I'm gonna discuss the contract with my lawyer to see whether the latest revisions have been made to the contract. I've called Larry, that's my lawyer, previously on my cell phone, so I'm just going to call him back on my cell phone. What you see happening here is I'm placing a regular call just going through the regular wireless carrier. However, through Bluetooth, the PC is aware of this call, and there's a representation of the call in the sidebar. Right there, available in my periphery, I can work on my PC, but I have an access point to relevant, and to relevant activities that I could do during the call. For example, you might want to look up some information around this person, or you want to see when I last talked to him. I have access to that through this representation. Right here, I can see I talked to Larry two days ago. I also have some straightforward call management. I can put Larry on hold, or I could maybe hang up, or I could route the audio to my Bluetooth headset, so I have my hands free to do one of these other activities, for example, make some notes around this call. What you see here is a call coming in. This is Kelly Blue. Kelly Blue is the person that I want to talk to uh, about the contract. But I'm currently on the phone with Larry, so I can't talk to Kelly at this moment. Previously, I would have two ways to deal with a phone call. I could either pick it up or ignore it and let it go to voicemail. Obviously, we would still do that. But for any type of phone call, whether it's a regular phone connected to the Longhorn Communications PC, or whether it's a phone call coming in on my cell phone and my cell phone is Bluetooth enabled, or whether it's a voice over IP call, we will show a notification of that call containing the call ID information. Through this notification, we now have more control how we want to deal with this call. So right now, I don't want to pick up the call for, for Kelly, but like how often does it happen that you make a mental note that, 
that you want to call this person back, or you quickly write down the number. Right here, I can make a quick reminder for myself. So when I, call, when I want to call, call it back, I can go that, do that through there. Because Kelly is online, I can also reply with this call with a message, or decline this call with a message. Instead of like leaving Kelly in the dark and she doesn't know whether I'm not there or whether I'm just simply ignoring the call, I can let her know that I might call her back in 50 minutes. I can customize these messages so I can quickly pick one of the messages that I want to use most often, like I'm in a meeting or can't call or I'm on the phone right now. So let's select, I'll call you back in 50 minutes. Let's go back to the call with Larry. Let's say Larry mentions that he sent a contract this morning in email. Previously, I have to go to my uh, inbox, filter the view by Larry, and go dig through all the messages until I find the, 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 the attachment that Larry sent an email. In Longhorn, we plan on aggregating all these messages. When communication applications write their items as a message type, we can create these aggregated views that show all your communication with a certain person. For example, in this view, you see messages that I sent to Larry, but also messages that I received from Larry, and you see they contain emails, or IMs, or phone calls. And right here, you can see the contract that Larry sent me, uh, or that he mentioned that he sent me this morning. I've shown you how we can control the call through the software, like put the call on hold or, or hang up or route the audio. We want to give similar, if not more efficient control over your communications through hardware devices like this communication uh, console or your cell phone. This communication console contains controls that are relevant to communication. So I'll just kind of quickly describe what you see here. At the top, there are controls around your communication applications, for example, going to voicemail or your email. There are controls to control the camera. There is a volume control if you're listening to music and you want to quickly turn that down. There are some transport controls at the bottom to uh, record or stop voicemail or video. And to the left are controls relevant to phone calls, for example, pick up a call, or mute a call, or forward a call to someone. There's also an auxiliary display that shows me a caller that, that can show information like caller ID information. So I said there are a couple of controls at, uh, at the top. And typically, when you, when you hit one of those controls, it opens one application. For example, the email control opens your inbox, or a calendar control opens your calendar. This typically leads to duplication of functionality that is already in the operating system. Like we have ways to kind of like quickly get there anyway. We want to make this more efficient by making the options that you get when you hit one of those controls contact sensitive. So for example, we are in a call with Larry right now. So when I hit the email control, I get different options, go to my inbox, but also new email so I can quickly write a new email uh, to Larry. In the same way, if I hit, if I can use the phone control, I get options relevant to this phone call. For example, I could put the call on hold, or I can hang up on the call. So I hang up on Larry, and as you can see, my call with Larry gets written into the, in my communication history, including my notes, which I can edit at a later time. So let's get back to the call with Kelly and let her know the contract has gone through all the revisions and she can take a look at it. So before, when I hit the phone control, I got options to hang up or put the call on hold. At this moment, we're not in a call, so those options wouldn't be available. Instead, I have options available to place a new call. For example, I can pick one of the people that I communicated with most recently, and I'm on my way to place a call to Kelly. Because Kelly is online, 
the call defaults to a voice over IP call. If I wanted to call her on a different number, I could choose that here. I can also let Kelly know what this call is about. This way, when Kelly gets a notification on her long communication PC, she'll have some context around what the call is about. On my side, when I place this call, and I'm, and I'm end this call, and I want to want to look this call back in my communication history, the call wouldn't be simply called phone call. Instead, it would have a title or a subject, and it can be associated with emails of the same subject or any of my other communications that I have in my communication history. Whether the call is a voice over IP call or a call that I make through my regular phone line or a call on my cell phone, we want to give a similar representation and similar functionality. So right here you see similar functionality around Kelly that I got around Larry, which was a cell phone call. How often does it happen that when you're on the phone, you're not on the same page, like quite literally? Like, especially when you're on the phone with someone, it would be that simple to share a document and look at the same document at the same time. Right here, through this representation, or through this entry point of the phone call, I can drag the contract that I received from Larry into my call window, and Kelly on her end gets a, rep gets a, a possibility to open this document. I'll open it up on this side. I control what we look at in the document. I can scroll to the document. And Kelly has functionality to point out certain areas in the document. So we can both look at, while we're on the phone, we can say, this, er this is the area that I'm talking about, or at this point, we should change. Let's say we're done with this call. I'll hang up. So I've shown you how we want to give control over your communication through a communication console like this. We want to give similar control to your communications to other communication devices. For example, this Bluetooth cell phone. For example, if I'm further away from my PC and a call comes in, I don't want to run through my PC and uh, like grab the mouse or, or, or grab that button and pick up that call. I want to have that control right here from my communication device, whatever the communication device might be. So for example, from here, I can choose to place a call or if I don't want it, I can hang up. Or if I don't want to have any calls at all, I could choose one of these do not disturb options, which sets my presence to busy so I'm not receiving any calls at all. So what I've shown you in this demo, there are, I've shown you three aspects in this demo. The first one was the hardware software integration. The second one was communication history. And the third one was call management from starting a call, activities during a call, and wrapping up of a call. So before I head off stage, I only have to, one thing to do. I just want to make sure I've got all my information on my cell phone available. So I quickly synchronize. I'll give it back to Paul. Thank you, Martin.